Temple run for KCR in Maharashtra. The Telangana Chief Minister travelled 833 kilometers by road over two days to visit the Pandarpur and Tulja Bhavani temples. This, along with a convoy of over 600 vehicles carrying ministers, MPs and other leaders, a massive show of political strength in a state where he intends to fight every election from panchayat to parliament. Congress has a time. Congress has given us BJP a B-team. BJP has given us Congress a A-team. I don't know where these teams come from. We are not just a team. We are a team of the people, the people, the people, the people, the people, the people, the people. After KCR announced his party's plans to go national, it is Maharashtra with 48 Lok Sabha seats that has seen the maximum number of forays by the BRS. There have been massive public meetings and big numbers inducted. There is a visible big spend by KCR in Maharashtra with massive public meetings. Insiders also tell us that there are attractive monetary incentives to join the BRS which includes offers of lakhs of rupees in cash and a fancy car for every significant joining. KCR's attack on the ruling party suggests it is the opposition vote that he will divide, prompting NCP leader Sharad Pawar and even Congress leaders to dub BRS as the B-team of the BJP. At a meeting earlier this month in Nagpur, KCR, who has been sharply attacking Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the last couple of years, seemingly did a U-turn and called Modi his friend. I have nothing against Mr. Modi. I have all respect for him. I am his best friend also. In the third charge sheet filed in April by the Enforcement Directorate in the Delhi Leaker scam, the name of KCR's daughter Kavita is not mentioned. Though she was questioned multiple times by central agencies after her name was mentioned in earlier charge sheets, though not as an accused. Meanwhile, the BRS has downplayed its suspended leaders joining the Congress. Those who are not active, Rather, those who are expelled from the party, those who are, you know, not working actively in the political system, have joined Congress party today. And we have enough shock absorbers. We, we are a strong and formidable force in Telangana. And these kind of small joinings in Congress party is not going to impact us by any standard. And we don't even bother for a minute about this particular issue. The Congress Political Affairs Committee meeting in Delhi today is expected to finalize its election strategy for Telangana. Massive public meetings are planned in July in Kamam and in Mehbubnagar to formally welcome the new entrants. With Sohit Mishra in Mumbai, Uma Sudhir in Hyderabad for NDTV.